that's me in total shock after driving the GR Corolla for the very first time. Is this for real? Okay, so now I am driving the Toyota GR Corolla and I'm driving this after driving the GR86 and also the GR Supra in manual transmission. So this is a, a delightful experience in terms of comparing the three Gazoo racing models. All three have very different character, very different feel, and also different purpose in terms of what customers they're serving. And this is the one that obviously is rally inspired, something that we've been waiting for for a long time after the debut of the GR Yaris in the rest of the world because we don't get the GR Yaris. The GR Corolla has a very distinct feel that is uh, different from the light feel of the GR86 and then also sort of a, a mature sports car feel of the Supra. This one is much taller, obviously, because it's not a sports coupe but it has a delightful character that is very fun to drive because the steering is super light and quick and agile and reacts to your hand as if it's an extension of your body and not surprisingly the clutch and the shifting is also very light very easy really short stroke both in terms of the shifting but even the clutch just like some of the older japanese uh, models with the manual has a really short stroke so you just have to step on it a bit to, into shift into a different gear and uh, what a delightful driving but very different from the other gazoo racing models we just finished driving around this one has i think a little bit more precise feel a bit more of an accurate feel in terms of how it hugs the road and the ride is better than a gr86 but not as good as a supra at least on the smooth pavement I'm driving right now. Now, does it feel as sporty as GR Supra or GR86? Well, I'm not quite sure about that because it is a three-cylinder turbocharged engine after all. And when you step on it, it's got plenty of power and torque, but feels very different from a Supra, which has inline six-cylinder engine. That one feels very mature. It's got loads of power and torque at very low RPM. This one needs to be kind of wound up to get that power. But in terms of driving fun, this one feels more tossable. It's more like a, a, what a rally car should be. Very quick, uh, short um, wheelbase, short body, it's easy to drive. And uh, because this one is the only one that has all wheel drive compared to the Supra GR86, on a slippery road like this, well, this thing wins because you can drive this in not just uh, wet condition, but maybe even snowy conditions or gravel conditions. Uh, something that neither GR86 nor Supra can actually accomplish. So that's the biggest difference between the three Gazoo racing models. This is really all weather, go anywhere sports machine that sits tall with lots of space in the car and it has a character of its own that is very light, easy to drive and uh, just a really delightful car. Now the big question is, even though these three GR models we drove today are very different in terms of the purpose, the intention, and also the um, price tag, which one would I want to buy and own? Well, if it, this was going to be an everyday driving car, a daily driver, and I live here in the west coast of Canada, I need something that can handle snow and winter, so this will be it. The GR Corolla will be a perfect combination of all weather, go anywhere, capable rally type car that is still fun to drive and super precise in terms of steering. And I also love the light clutch and the very easy shifting gears. The brakes are also really easy to modulate and uh, overall because the visibility is also excellent. It's just a car that you feel safe in. Whereas the GR86 and the GR Supra, because they are true sports coupe or sports car, and you sit low in the ground, uh, you definitely feel much more claustrophobic and you do feel like you're driving a sports car. This one has the same kind of visibility and feel as any other Corolla hatchback. So it's giving you the impression that, hey, you can just drive this like a normal car and you can. So even though it's almost impossible to get GR Corolla right now, you may never actually get one. If you have a chance to buy it, this is the one you gotta buy because this is the everyday 
go-kart like car that you can drive anywhere for fun and still be able to take passenger in the back because the other two cars the Supra and the GR86 obviously can't take much of a passenger at all so this is the practical one this is the one you gotta buy if you want to show up in I don't know local get-togethers and it just seems like a normal Corolla but they have no idea the type of power and torque and the capability the thing has uh, so it's a lot of fun to drive now in terms of just pure driving and having the maximum power and maximum um, refinement obviously the GR Supra with a 3 liter inline 6 is hard to beat and I would still buy that if I just want a pure sports car and I don't need any practicality or I don't have to worry about driving in the winter time that's still the best one to drive among the three and if I want to just buy something practical and don't want to spend too much money and I still want to buy a light um, track car that is affordable then it's the GR86 so what about things I'm not too crazy about on this GR Corolla well I think the steering is precise and it's accurate it's very quick but it is a bit light for my taste uh, both the GR86 and especially the Supra has a lot more heft feel has a little bit more feedback and even driving something like a Civic Si which doesn't compete directly with this one we'll have to wait for Type R for that has a better steering feel and a steering character uh, I think there's only so much they can do because they're using the um, the Corolla platform so no matter how much they revise and adjust the steering mechanism and also re-engineer uh, the software it's always going to feel a little bit like a Corolla and so the steering is accurate I have no complaints about the sharpness but uh, it is very light to feel and it's something that uh, I think needs to be improved because it doesn't feel as hefty it doesn't feel as sporty on everyday driving course like this one just because the steering feels a little bit over boosted for the power assist I do like the fact that the shifting is very smooth very short stroke and has the rev matching uh, but once again uh, the GR Supra's manual is a, the simply better more refined it has a little bit more character a little bit of a sportier feel uh, so overall do I love the GR Corolla I love the GR Corolla for what it stands for which is all-wheel drive fully weather capable rally inspired car that has as much power and torque and performance as many other sports car costing two or three times as much and for a reasonable price you can get this car if you can get one uh, within a reasonable budget and you can still carry passengers in the back and cargo uh, if you don't buy the Morizo edition which doesn't have a rear seat so all around it's a practical all-wheel drive rally car that can probably go against some of the best sports cars in the world I'm just happy that Toyota came up with something like this to actually bring a GR Corolla to North America and to the world is absolutely amazing kudos to Akio Toyota the president of Toyota who made this happen and uh, I had the privilege of meeting Akio Toyota several times in Japan and he's very passionate about sports car and all things to do with Gazoo racing so uh, you know what we're just fortunate and lucky to even have this car available here uh, maybe it's not quite the same kind of a dedicated rally car as a GR Yaris but this is as good as you're going to get in terms of getting into rally inspired car that can still get reasonable fuel economy and you can still use this as an everyday car now I did also take the GR Corolla on the actual racetrack and drove quite a few laps with this and compared against the GR86 and also the GR Supra with a manual and on the track the GR Corolla literally transforms itself to something that is totally delightful and quite amazing and in fact it drove a lot better around the twisty corners than the GR Supra which kind of lost its composure in the very twisty corners and even when compared to the GR86 which is a really good car for the track the GR Corolla was definitely a lot more accurate and stayed completely flat around the corners and you can turn the GR Corolla like on a dime and around a very twisty uh, turns the GR Corolla stayed absolutely agile and completely controllable and I was taken back how much 
uh, different it felt on the racetrack compared to a normal driving road. So uh, after driving both on the track as well as on the kind of rough as well as a pavement road, I gotta admit the GR Corolla did have the best handling among the three, uh, that is compared to the GR86 and compared to GR Supra. Uh, but in terms of the driving on the regular street or even bumpy road, I gotta admit I really like the Supra. I just really wish that Toyota made the steering a bit heavier with a little bit more heft and the feedback because that will make the uh, GR Corolla's handling and the steering feel almost perfect. Also keep in mind that I did drive all three different versions of the GR Corolla which includes the Core Edition, the Circuit Edition, and the Morizo Edition. And while there are some subtle differences among the three, they are not as different as you think. So yes, the Morizo Edition is definitely the best handling car of the three, and then the Core Edition, the most affordable. But for most of you who are driving this on a normal road as a daily driver car, you probably wouldn't notice a big difference. Having said all that, which one would I buy? Obviously the Morizo Edition. By the way, I love the way engine sounds on this one. Just a bit of a rev. It's got a great exhaust sound and uh, makes you feel like you're in a very different kind of car as soon as you step on the gas and then rev it up a little bit here and there. So I love the exhaust sound and the engine sound. It does not sound like a turbocharged three cylinder engine. This thing feels like a, a four cylinder turbo or even, even have a bit of a feel of a a small V6 engine. So lovely car, fun to drive, and a great sound as well. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope this uh, quick review of the GR Corolla was helpful in comparison to other Gazoo racing product. If you want to know more about this, please uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up and make some comments. But until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.